What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some market talk. As per usual, we're going to go over a bunch of cards in this video. And guys, as per usual, we're going to do a 20,000 MT giveaway. We're going to have a code word at some point in this video. Um, that is going to be your chance of qualifying for 20,000 MT. We got to get 85 likes on this video. We've been hitting a lot of like goals. We've been smashing those smashing like buttons. So make sure to smash the like button. 85 likes. Giveaway 20 KMT, wait for that code word. And yeah, in this video, we're gonna go over the moments, we're gonna go over upcoming content, and we're gonna go over just a bunch of things that you should do with your MT right now. As you can see, I do have a decent amount of MT at 110K. It's nothing crazy, but I do have some stuff to sell, so we're gonna have to get to that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, first off, if you don't know, they do have the moments packs in here. Um, pretty much the way I base new content coming is the hours off pack. So, right now, it does look like we are going to have new content, possibly, well, this is pre-recorded on a Tuesday night, so I believe that they will drop content in probably Thursday, because we have 10 hours, Thursday or Friday, they're going to drop new content, so these are my predictions to all of you, so pretty much, I'm going to tell you guys to sell all cards, because uh, I'm not going to lie, you know what, you can sell cards Wednesday or early Thursday morning to be safe if you want. If you bought a sick team for the, uh, the tournament qualifier, it's probably a really good team, uh, really good time to sell. That's what I would say. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. The market is very slow. It is going to be really hard to snipe right now. No one's really crazy about the moments. Yeah, they're good moments, but you have to realize that none of them over 100k. So I don't know. Nothing really crazy this week so far. They dropped. Yeah, they dropped four diamonds, but you got to realize that. 95, 94, and 93 overalls aren't that valuable. So, eh, it's nothing too crazy this week. Right now, I um, would pretty much just recommend trying to snipe some moments of the week, eight diamonds. Um, but yeah, so some people were asking me if they should sell their moments of the week, eight players. And I'm going to go over it right now. I honestly do believe you should sell them because if they do drop any packs, it's over. Um, oh, 53K, huh? That's a pretty good price. Um, so, yeah. Right now, since they are, they're kind of cheap. People are saying wait till next week when they're out of packs, but this is what I'm going to say. For all those people who think they should wait, I really just to completely, I completely disagree with you because, first of all, if you do the set, you get no benefits out of it besides 100 tokens. So you would lose about, let's say, 250k to do the set and you just get 100 tokens out of it. 100 tokens is no, it's nothing. It's nothing special. So if you do do the set, I mean... It's up to you, man. But if you do keep these four players until next week, next week is Christmas. And what's going to happen during Christmas? A million, probably, no joke about at least 100,000 people are going to get this game and probably play my team. Or maybe, let's just say like 30,000 people are going to get this game and get, play my team for Christmas. So all the Christmas noobs are going to be on. Most of the Christmas noobs are going to play my team, meaning that they're going to probably get Microsoft points too for Christmas because I know back in the day when I was little, I still get uh, Microsoft point cards for Christmas. So you're probably going to get Microsoft points. Kids are going to spam packs. Everything's going to drop in price, especially on Christmas Day next week. This is the week you want to rack up as much MT as possible and get ready to snipe Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. My opinion, they're going to drop a promo like the Flash promo. If you don't know, the Flash promo did um make all uh what's it called the flash promo made everything go down in price there was a huge market crash with that promo so what i'm saying is so this is my this is what i said so since they drop moments that aren't too special there's no pink diamond in it it's nothing crazy the market's not going to crash that much it's kind of slow right now if you guys don't know if you go over here to my diamond filter um nothing crazy if you see austin car 25k the auction is dead i mean dead dead Right now, it's going to be hard to snipe. These are the cards up for 25k. Nothing special. The legacy cards mean nothing. All these cards are worthless, bro. When when the auctions crash, these cards are around 20k. So right now, mark is nothing crazy. Also, what I think they're trying to do, I think they're trying to raise the auction a little bit. They're not trying to crash it as much because what this means is since they're all going to drop that crazy content, they're going to have slower content this week, meaning you should get ready. Um... 
Get as much MT as possible. Sell all your cards, I would say, today or tomorrow. They're going to drop decent content on Friday. Snipe as much as you can Friday. Sell your cards Sunday and then get ready for Monday. Monday, they're going to probably drop some crazy moments. And then when after Monday, I think they're going to drop possibly a giant Christmas Eve or Christmas promo, which will destroy the auction. But that is just my complete prediction. To be honest, all my predictions have been very on point. So... I mean, I predicted the moments not being too crazy. It really isn't that crazy. There's no pink diamonds in it. Just 95, 94, 93 overalls. A lot of kids aren't even interested in these cards. To be honest, I don't really think it's that special. So let's get into some snipe filters right now. The market's very slow. I'm just going to say two snipe filters that you guys should definitely do while the market is slow. Would recommend the silver filter as per usual. It is just probably one of the most consistent filters. I've made most of my MT off of it. And uh, yeah, man, try it out. I think I actually just got a snipe right there. This guy looks pretty decent for 1500. I'm just gonna buy him. Pretty much, if you see any cards for 1500, you're most likely automatically gonna make a profit. Um, they usually go for like, if you get a card for like 1500, they usually go for at least like 300 MT more. So if you do buy it for 1500, you're gonna make a little bit. Like if you botch and you buy silver, that's not really worth it. You're still gonna make a decent amount, like like a hundred MT. So there's really no way you could lose MT. It's quick profit, and you can also snipe out cars that go for like eight, nine K. That will sell decently fast. Also, um, since the market is kind of slow, try out the heat check filter. It's pretty fire. Not gonna lie, that was a bad one, and it's not nah, it's not a good one either. But uh, yeah, pretty solid filters right there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, another filter I would try, I would recommend Moments of the Week Eight Diamond Center. That is not a bad filter. It honestly, any moments of the week eights honestly are not bad snipes right now. They're like, I feel like they're gonna be a lot faster than most in the market. Not gonna lie, everything's kind of dead. There's really nothing getting put up. Like that's a snipe right there, and I got it. So he is 79k. So I just got on the auction. I'm gonna make a solid like 8k clean. So yeah, try out that filter. It should work out. Maybe we'll do some Carlton Towns gameplay tomorrow with that snipe. But yeah, as you can see, bro, that was my first start. I literally, first time I actually refreshed that filter, got a snipe first try. I'm going to make a solid 8, 9K. So um, try out that filter. If you really want, you could just do moments of the week, 8 diamond, uh, let's say like 52K. Uh, let's see. Let's see what pops up for that. 50K, yeah. Try this. If you get a Jaron Jackson for around 52, that's not bad. Even a Kemba for like 45 is not bad. He'll, you can sell him for like 52. But uh, yeah, right now, moments of the weeks are slowly rising because Monday, they usually set their base price. As the week goes on, they usually go up. But you want to try to sell them before Friday or maybe you could sell them Sunday. Honestly, if they do drop some decent content Friday, you could pick them up and sell them on sunday right before the next moments drop but you must sell all cards by sunday if you don't sell your cards by sunday you're gonna take l's i mean i've taken l's before it's gonna be a big l because next week's a big week a big week they're probably gonna drop a vc sale if they don't drop a vc sale i'm buying 80 bucks worth of vc so we could have a giant pack opening next week but uh yeah try out this filter um moments of the week eight amethyst isn't a bad filter either let's see if we get another snipe nothing all right let's try out the amethyst one um my diamond filter is really slow it's really only good when they do drop new content so like if they drop another promo like the flash content the diamond filter is always mad good but uh yeah so the only problem is with this filter bam i would dial is really cheap but if you could somehow snag a Devonte graham for the low it's pretty fire Devonte graham is probably the best one in this set he's really good he's, pr he's pretty much a better amethyst curry in my opinion and his jump shot is water if you didn't check out my gameplay go check that out but yeah Devonte graham is around he's around 17k i actually got him for 16 surprisingly so honestly amethyst moment to the week eight it's not a bad filter there's gonna be a decent flow on it as you can see bro toby's already 6k if you guys want to stock up on some toby's i honestly would recommend it if you can get some for under 6k, you could easily sell them for at least 8. Because then again, he's not a bad card. He's pretty good. He's pretty good all around. But yeah, like I expected, his card is definitely the worst in the set. He is the cheapest for a reason. So yeah, try out this filter. If you do get a Devontae Graham or even a Bam Abadayo, it's pretty big dubs. I'll just keep refreshing like this. And that's honestly really all I got for the video. Got a little bit of stuff to sell. Some stuff in my collection as well. But yeah. 
pretty good stuff man i hope you guys enjoyed the video as per usual the support has been unreal and uh yeah forgot to say the code word once again so you know what we're gonna make the code word joel and bead because i'm obsessed with this card and we are definitely gonna stream with this card we might have a whole moment to the week stream if i'm really feeling it but uh yeah code word is joel and bead in the comments shout out to him and uh let's go bucks baby let's go bucks hope you guys enjoyed have a good one peace